If I am innocent, if my intentions are pure, then I'm certainly trustworthy, am I not? And up comes The Course in Miracles again with the um, uh, development of trust. Is that familiar, Jonathan? <laughs> um, in the um, Manual for Teachers in A Course in Miracles, there is a section called The Characteristics of a Teacher of God. And the very first characteristic, the one that everything is founded on, is trust. And it gives the most clear definition of how we develop trust and how we continue to move through that process as we go deeper and deeper and deeper into ourselves. It's a, it's a process that's going on all the time. It's an ongoing lifestyle even. And it's one of the things that this work is based on supporting the development of your trusting yourself because trust has no thing to do with any other human being. It has wholly to do with you. I trust myself to know, you've heard me say this before, to, you know, to know who to have dinner with. I trust myself to know who to go into business with. I trust myself to know who's gonna be late. <laughs> who not to loan money to. I trust myself. I don't have to worry about trusting you or you or you. And um, that then as I trust myself, I attract to myself and I come out from trust and I engender trust. I attract trust. It's the way it works. And in that process, the Course says, and I have learned that it's right on. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> I'd like for it to be a little different. That the final stage, the part that is most difficult for human beings, is to let go of all judgment. Because as long as you judge, whether it's yourself or another person, you will not trust wholly and completely. So the development of trust has to do with acknowledging your essential innocence and developing the ability to release judgment of any kind. Oh my goodness. I mean, that can keep you busy, I think. It certainly does keep me busy. <laughs> I think about it a lot. 